is ABC 7 News at 5. We've heard a lot lately about compact fluorescent light bulbs because they use a lot less energy. And they're attractive for that reason, but there is a downside. They contain mercury that can be dangerous to the environment. Seven on your side's Michael Finney is here with another energy-saving alternative on the horizon. Yeah, you know those little tiny lights right. you see on your electronic appliances? They light up numbers or buttons. They're called light emitting diodes or LEDs. They work great lighting up gadgets, but can they light up a whole house? That's what we're checking out tonight. We see them everywhere these days, LED lights. They're in our crosswalks, cell phones, digital clocks, even elevators. LEDs use far less energy than any bulb on the market, including CFLs. So why don't we use them to light our homes? Warner Phillips says we should. Five years time from now, nobody will have CFLs in their homes. Nobody will have incandescents in their homes anymore. They will all have LEDs. Warner is the Dutch manufacturer of this LED bulb called Ferox. It's made to be as bright as a 40-watt bulb, but it uses only 5 watts of power. And LEDs contain no toxic mercury like CFLs do. To me, it's a no-brainer that this is the lighting standard for the future. Yet, very few LEDs are used for home lighting. Why is that? We haven't found a lot of LEDs that can give the same light output in terms of brightness and the colors. PG&E's Marcella Fox says it's a challenge to turn these glowing colored lights into warm white light for homes. And not only that, LEDs cost a bundle. It's not currently available for the average consumer that um, you know is on a tight budget. Warner's bulbs cost $40 a piece compared to a dollar or two for CFLs. But Warner says prices are coming down. And LEDs last 50 times longer than a standard bulb. They also use far less power, as we said. This watt meter shows the standard 40 watt bulb using 43 watts of power, while the LED uses five. An equivalent CFL uses eight watts. San Francisco lighting designer Mike Ricciardi is skeptical about LEDs. It's just not a bright enough light source. It's good as an accent uh, under cabinets. We put two bulbs side by side. There's the new LED on your right, a standard 40-watt bulb on your left. The old light appears brighter. But Warner says the LED works best shining down, like a chandelier. Mike tested that, too. So that is, that's the 40-watt bulb, and that's the LED. So it actually looks as bright. Impressive, he says, but still expensive. If you can get them down to a better price, then they may be beneficial. Several manufacturers are developing new versions of LED lights. Warner's company is right now working on a 60-watt equivalent. His LED, his LED bulbs are available right now only online. Now, we've posted more information about CFLs and LEDs at abc7news.com. There on the left-hand side of your computer screen. Click on 7 on your side, and we'll give you all the information we have. Well, the screen movement is pushing technology. Who knows how we'll light our homes 10, 15 years from now? Good point. All right, thanks, Michael. All right, Michael, thanks.